It's a pleasure to welcome back uh, to the program uh, Leisha Brooks. Um, Leisha, uh, Michael would have been uh, 40 yesterday, and uh, I should say, like, part of the, uh, well, I mean, the reason why we're, we're celebrating his birthday, at least um, uh, um, uh, this year, as opposed to when he passed away, is uh, based upon your suggestion and, and the idea that, like, you know, time to sort of maybe get a little bit more positive. I, I don't know. I don't know how really to express that, but to celebrate yeah. Michael's life as opposed to, you know, lament his death um, mm -hmm. or, or at least sort of change the, the, what the weight of, of those two sort of sentiments. Yeah. I mean, it's so much of what people express like uh, around the country and around the world is that he brought a lot of like levity and, and optimism to uh, how they felt about the world and their circumstances. So it kind of felt, I don't know, like it, it's a tricky balance because I mean, you know, every single day there's this great heaviness and sadness that my brother is dead. And then there's also this like really unusual thing, which is that people still message me, you know, almost daily saying that he's just made them laugh and, and brought them through such darkness and made them feel like, you know, there maybe is a way out of this. Um, so I don't know. Celebrating the birthday just kind of made sense, I guess. Uh, did I say that any better than? <laughs> I th you no, I think to. you okay. did. I, I mean, I think you did. I mean, I think yeah. you know the. I, I like the idea of 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 celebrating his life and and, and the work that we have and and sort of like that perspective on 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 um, you know bringing uh, guests on who you know he particularly enjoyed talking to. Um, and um uh and, and sort of uh allowing those ideas to continue to sort of like uh, go go forward um what give me a sense of like i guess over the past three years i, I don't know i mean er everybody experiences this differently i think even within the context of our audience too but but for you what what is what what has that that been like over the past three years well, there's like the element of it that's losing my big brother, which is just so intimate and intense and like not, you know, something that I share with other people who have lost siblings, but it's not really something I, I per se. And, and they're honestly, it's horrible, but there are a lot of audience members who have also lost siblings. So in, in that sense, I, I share that with some people, but then there's also just a lot of people who miss him as you know, a, a leader and someone to look to when you're kind of unsure of how to feel about something or someone to go to when, you know, you're just feeling so like down about everything. And so I also can kind of, you know, identify missing that just perspective in my life and that kind of like, you know, point of reference. Um, so I guess the last three years, like a lot of it has just been like coming out of like acute shock and grief and like just kind of getting back into a place where it's not just all I'm thinking about all day, every day. And it's still like, okay, usually like there's certain times of the day or certain things that make me like really think of Michael. I post, I repost the shows um, on the Patreon on tmbs.com or sorry, Patreon, I'm not going to laugh. I always used to fetch this on patreon.com slash tmbs. I do um, a weekly uh, repost rear of the show. We're up to one twelve tomorrow. There was 149 episodes before he passed. And so like that kind of makes me feel like, I don't know, a connection with him or I'm like helping him. He's always like so overwhelmed by like logistics and like back end stuff. So I kind of feel like I'm like, I don't know, somehow like helping him out or doing something that way. Um, to, to segue, not to monologue, Sam, but just on the topic, um, the a lot of people have just discovered his work through various shows, including yours. And so... It's been cool to see that he's continued to be able to teach, you know, the illicit histories and some of the interviews that weren't just the weekly show are really evergreen. I know you mentioned that in your uh, intro about how you all were talking about some of the debates and, and some of the stuff in his book has continued to be helpful to people as like a educational resource. But um, just the archive of the last couple of years of his work are just, you know, immensely educational. Yeah. And, um, I, I, I hear, I mean, I probably not to necessarily to the extent that you do, but I, I, uh, I, there's not a week or 
or a couple of days, frankly, like that goes by where I don't hear from uh, uh, a listener on, on Twitter or I run onto people on the street who um, talk about, you know, what they learned from Michael, how much they miss Michael, uh, or they've discovered uh, some new thing. And um, we have uh, listeners, uh, 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 Dan Arkey, uh, one of them who like will, We'll dig up uh, uh, stuff and put together compilations every now and then, new ones and old ones. Um, you know, for me, the the funnest stuff is like is the comedy uh, that uh, because I have the most, I think, visceral reaction to that because it like literally just brings me back to, uh, you know, times where we were just uh, laughing and, uh, and and he would do his best to crack me up Uh uh, or you know, vice versa, and that uh, was was fun. I mean, it was really mm -hmm. just fun. Uh, but again, he had the ability to do uh, political comedy in a way that I I really have rarely got. Well, like Jeb Bush doing something funny would mean that the next day at work would be like exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, like uh, you know, and there are many times too. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you must go through this like in just different aspects of just your daily life, but you know, we, we, we had uh, a clip of Vivek, uh, uh, Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy rapping. And I just feel like that would have been three or four months of, of, of Michael dining on that. He would, I think, I think he would just hate Ramaswamy. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be able to like, uh, sublimate it into comedy. I think it would just be like, he's a loser. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, so before we, you know, launch off into this, we've got, um, uh, four or five guests, uh, coming up, uh, next, uh, anything else that you want to leave us with? Um, there. yeah, please. Uh, I was, I was there. Um, yeah. So basically like the, the one thing that comes up a lot that people sort of share is that for people who don't kind of organically find Michael's work you know, they'll be trying to communicate to other people about who he was and what the impact he made was. And it's kind of hard to like, you know, there's the majority report, there's TMBS, there's all of his appearances all over the internet. And so I, most of your audience is, is familiar with the fact that I've started working on a documentary uh, about Michael, just kind of, you know, about his education and what led him to this worldview and this body of work and then kind of just impact post death. Um, and I got to go to Northern Ireland. Um, maybe Drew Mikhail will, will talk about that. And that was really cool to um, kind of retrace the steps that, that he did in Belfast. And it's, it's really exciting to be able to kind of be putting together this doc, but it's also, you know, really draining. Like I, I've been rewatching those like tribute shows that we did on majority report and TMBS. And that was, it's like awful. <laughs> like it's, it's, yeah. you, it's, it's really cathartic and then people say really beautiful stuff and I feel grateful to have it, but it's like, there's parts of it that are just like, it's overwhelming how much just content of Michael there is and how much content, you know, the internet, at least it felt like to us who are immediately, it just felt like the internet just exploded on July 20th for like about a couple of months just with, you know, amazing tributes and articles and, and all sorts of Michael. So Waiting through that and um, hoping to make good headway this year, but it's it's been um, exciting and fun and also just really overwhelming and, and emotionally exhausting. But I just wanted to give a little update on that project because I'm sure some people are curious. And yeah, I don't know. I miss Michael obviously every day, and I'm laughing because you all who knew him more privately, it's like there's the political routines, but then there's also like you know, he had Sam, but he did like everyone in my hometown and everyone in my family. And there's just, it's like the news cycle. Yes. But then it's just so hard for me to not be able to call him and be like, so-and-so did this, and, you know, just that the, the intimate comedy rants were obviously a, a treat that will be missed. Indeed. Well, uh, Alicia, thanks. Uh, thanks again. And folks uh, just give that, uh, uh, the legacy project, uh, URL again. It's uh, patreon.com slash TMBS, and um, it's just the archives of everything Michael put out for his passing, and every week we just do like a roundup and, and repost the show, and it's available um, for everyone on his YouTube channel, the Michael Brooks Show YouTube channel, and wherever you get your podcasts. Great. Uh, Alicia, thanks so much. It was, uh, it was, it was great to touch base again, and uh, hope, hope to see you soon. 
Thank you. Happy birthday to Michael. Take Thanks, care. Alicia. Bye. Bye.